All right, it's time to put the gears together. Uh, like I mentioned in the last video, we did a JDM five and six short ratio. Uh, carbon synchros on four, five, and six. We replaced fourth gear and the slider assembly uh, was kind of mangled up. And uh, this is the bearing that I showed you that was all chewed up before. That's been, the gear was pressed off, the new bearing was on, pressed back together and bolted in. Uh, we just cleaned the transmission up, so we're going to use the three bond. This one's for transmissions, 1215. Uh, seal it up, then we put the mid plate on it here. And then after that, we assemble the gears with the shift forks and stack it in. Uh, throw it up on the time lapse so you guys can see this. What you guys just saw in the time lapse was us assembling the gears and the shift forks on the chair here. And then it's a two-man job to lift it up. You slide it in place, and then uh, second person has to put the reverse gear on in this, and the detents go on the sides. Now we're gonna assemble the gear selector magic stick, and then uh, it's always a good idea to shift it through the gears and make sure that it moves before you seal in the case and it's a lot of extra work so we're gonna put that on move it around a couple gears and then we will seal on that case and then put the uh, center diff in and the tail housing If it's in multiple gears, it won't line up right. This is a deep, like a walkout system. It won't let any more gears than one be selected with this setup. So once you get it in here, put it in fourth gear. So I pull it up on it. Now it's locked into fourth gear. That's what the gear you need to put the case on. You can see it's locked into fourth gear because the center is selected up. It, it, it actually finds that center there and pulls it. Yeah. All right, we're gonna put the case on. Okay, you just saw us stack the gears in, put the reverse on, 
Then we sealed up the case on the other side of this. You gotta seal it up between here and here and then here and here. Put that all on. Then you gotta put all these case bolts in, these 14 millimeter ones, and then these 17 millimeter ones to push pressure on these shift rods. So don't forget these, make sure they're snug. Uh, tighten all those down. Don't forget that these ones go on the bracket. Uh, this bracket right here stays on. And then there's three nuts right here, here, and here. You gotta put on with a wrench. Uh, then we put a piece of block, a block of wood under the input shaft to raise this up a little bit. You gotta put this snap ring underneath that gear. Then you can take it back out. Next, we have the center diff and the tail shaft. Uh, make sure that's all. Usually, you don't mess with that. Um, if your car has an oil pump in it, certain years did, it has this gear to it, uh, which we're going to assemble next. And then that goes on before this stuff. That gear rides right in here. And then you got to bolt all the plates down. All right, I wanted to show this, uh, even though it's just a minor update. This is the gear pump here. So you put this together, the dots have to go up. Uh, the orientation of this doesn't matter. Make sure that your shims go below the solid piece and they're flush. This is flush. And then this piece goes on next. This shim, you need to put grease on it so when you flip it upside down it doesn't fall. And that goes over top of that oil pump, which is why I want to show it to you now. Okay, once you get the oil pump gear on and this housing, you have to slide this uh, selector in. There's another detent pin that goes right there. Tighten that up, puts pressure on it right there. And then this uh, metal thing, when you slide it off, these close together, so you gotta spread those apart. And then before you seal this up, put a screwdriver through here, you should be able to row through the gears relatively easy. This is still gonna wiggle, so it's not perfect, but you should be able to slide through them. So. Do it in just the same pattern that you would do. So over the left and forward, first gear, over the left and back, second gear, centered and forward, third gear, centered and back and forth. Neutral is obviously here where it wiggles. Over, over, down is fifth. It's kind of hard to get it lined up without the tail housing off. There's fifth, there's sixth, and then reverse is all the way over and back. So, and this is neutral where it wiggles freely. So you want to run through them before you seal it up just to be sure. Might not be easy, but it definitely shouldn't be stuck or jammed up. Because um, once we put the center diff on and the oiling thing, this is all sealed up. Next step is put the center diff in and make sure that you connect it if you have the, well, you will have the switches for DCCD, but make sure you connect that. And that actually fits in that little bracket. It might be too bright of a light, but sits in the bracket right there. And make sure the wire is on the outside of this so it doesn't get hung up. And then 
this will ride on the case to keep it from twisting. Then you put the output shaft on right there, it just sets in. Make sure that these uh, squirrel cage bearings got grease on them and are stuck. And then we're gonna seal this up with three bond again. Put the uh, tail housing on and bolt it down, that's it. Uh, then we gotta seal the uh, sump pan. All right, I think we shut the time lapse off a little bit ago. We had some trouble getting this um, tail piece on. It ended up being that the gear that I showed you earlier in the video that we replaced from the bad one um, was slightly tweaked when we put it in, so it didn't want to spin on uh, the shaft. So when we tried to put it in, it was locking it up. Uh, we knew something was wrong, so we took it back out, we redid it, it's good to go, dropped right in, put all these bolts on, torque them, Put that pan back on. Put the oil pipe back on here. Uh, and then I don't use the rear row two sensor on the rally car, so we put a bag over it and zip tied it so that if I put this transmission in another car later or if I sell it, then it won't be damaged for the next person. So it's done now. Throw some fresh axle seals in it before I put it in. And uh, we're just gonna move it out of the way. Rally car comes back on the next day or two, so, and it'll go in.